There are growing concerns about the quality of air that we breathe. If a member of the public or members of the public complain to the EME that there is an industrial enterprise in their vicinity which is emitting particle pollution, dust particle. At a joint select committee of parliament on Friday, Dr. Dineshwar Mahaber questioned the EME on its regulatory powers over air polluters. The EME's response was not what many expected. The EME, I mean, in terms of our, I mean, we, we don't have the, the air pollution rules in place as yet to do anything. In 1995, the EMA was formed and mandated to write and enforce laws for environmental management almost 20 years later, and the EMA is still reworking old pieces of legislation. The EMA says draft legislation on air pollution is before the Ministry of the Environment and will soon head to Parliament. Chairman Dr. Alan Bajan says if the entity falls outside of a certificate of environmental clearance, then the EMA has no jurisdiction. Until the air pollution rules are enacted, there's, we, outside of that realm, they, we, can, we cannot operate. He says not only are there legal barriers, but a lack of funding also hinders the EMA from carrying out its job. Dr. Bajan says the EMA is given $300,000 annually to carry out air quality testing when one piece of equipment costs 800000 For the EMA, Dr. Beechan says there's still much work to be done. What we have realized is that the legislation has literally not worked for us in terms of our ability to um, ensure the proper management of the environment. Rhea Rambley, CNC3.